I'm Zuraidah Ismail, Computer Science Lecturer from College Matrikulasi Perak. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's begin our lesson with do problem analysis. How to do that? When you receive a problem, how you identify input, process and output for that problem. First, you need to identify control structure use. Then, what is input? Input is any data that is needed to be calculated by the computer. Make sure input is not data that user have to calculate it or to get the output. Example, GST, tax and discount. And make sure it is not a constant value or fixed value such as pi, 5 or 0 0.01. Make sure it is name of variable to store data will be entered by the user into the computer. I repeat, make sure you put a name of variable uh, which is used to store data that will be entered into the computer to be calculated. Okay, what is process? Process is an explanation of how to process the problem to get the output. Okay, example, you put calculate, you put compute, you put determine or repeat the data to get the output. A simple basic statement to put into the process, not a formula. Okay, make sure not a formula. What is output? Output is what to find or calculate or is a result. Uh, what should the task produce? That is output. That means you put name of variable uh, to that store data that being processed by the computer. Okay, let's start with problem number one. Example here, by considering the following scenario, identify the input, process and output. Scenario one, calculate and display the area of circle. This is example of formula how you calculate area of circle. But how you identify uh, the problem control structure. Actually, it is a sequence control structure. How I know that? Because the formula to calculate the area of circle is like this. Area of circle equal to 3 uh, pi multiplied by radius and multiplied by radius. Square red, radius. Square of radius. Okay. When you see this, uh, the clue how to identify input, process the, and the output actually in the left side of the formula on the left side here actually is the output. Uh, for that, uh, out for our problem analysis, output. And then for the right side here, right unknown value. Eh? Make sure unknown value. Pi, we already know the value, right? And it's a fixed number. But uh, unknown value here, radius. We don't know what is the radius. What is the amount of radius, actually. So, radius will become as an input, actually, for our con uh, problem analysis okay so let's see the answer so input is a radius and then the process is calculate area circle just a basic statement because it's a sequence control structure so make sure you put calculate area circle and output is area circle okay make sure the name uh, you written here uh, is the same as when you written in the process area circle so here also area circle you cannot put a so the mistake made by the student actually uh, a few of you will uh, write down input as a pi or symbol of pi it's wrong actually okay because pi is a fixed value fixed value cannot be as an input okay in the process student uh, write, write down area circle uh, uh, equal to pi multiplied by uh, square of radius. So, this is wrong also because you cannot write formula in the process. Okay. And then, uh, output area. Name not relevant when 
uh, with the question and not the same in the process. So you cannot put area only. Okay, make sure you put the name you put is the same. Okay, so let's proceed with example 2. Okay, example 2 scenario, a government tax of 6% and service tax of 10% will be added to the price of a set of meal bought at MCK. Calculate the total price that Abu has to pay for a set of meal. How to find this uh, control structure is sequence also because you only use calculation uh, to get total price for the uh, meals. So, input price of meal. And the process is calculate total price only. No need to read, write down a formula. Remember, okay? I remind you again, no need to write down a formula in do problem analysis. Okay? How about output? Uh, you just write down total price only. Mistake made by student is, are, uh, in the input, they write uh, 6 and symbol of percentage. And then, or they write 6% or they write 0 0.06. Actually, this is wrong because uh, percentage actually a computer uh, known as a modulus. You cannot write symbol or fixed value. Remember, in input, you cannot write formula or symbol. Okay. Or you write down 0 0.06 also wrong. Hmm? Cannot put number in the input or output. Actually, you cannot put a number. Never put. We just put name of variable needed ah, to calculate that data. Okay, process, total price, you write down a process, formula here. So, cannot also, you cannot write down formula, it's wrong actually. And then, output, uh, student write total price. So, actually, total price and have a space like this. When you write space like this, it's not the same as calculate total price here. No space. Okay, make sure the name or the capital letter, the space, yeah, make sure must be the same. Okay, cannot put space because this no space here. So, make sure relevant also with the process you already written. Okay, how about uh, we look at the uh, problem uh, 3. Amina wants to calculate 50 millimeter to convert into centimeter. Okay. Convert a measurement in millimeter to centimeter and print the result. Okay. Actually, Amina wants to calculate 50 millimeter to convert into centimeter. Actually, just a, a, a not the keyword there. The keyword actually is a convert a measurement in millimeter to centimeter and print the result. So, it, this also is a sequence control structure use. Okay. How to calculate that? Okay, you can see in centimeter, to get a uh, value of centimeter, you get from this formula, millimeter, divide by 10. So, that means on the left side, actually, is an uh, output. On the right, unknown value, uh, unknown. 10, you already know, uh, millimeter, unknown value. Millimeter as an input here. And the process, you only write down, convert millimeter to centimeter. And the output actually is a centimeter. Okay, let's uh, proceed with the mistake made by the student. Uh, student put 50. Because they see here, Amina want to calculate 50 millimeter. Now, you cannot put fixed number actually. Because you ask computer to do the calculation. So, actually... Uh, maybe Amina wants to calculate any value uh, of millimeter uh, to convert into centimeter. So the input is millimeter. Okay, make sure you don't write number. And then output uh, student put centimeter. Okay, and again that means millimeter centimeter written in the process really like this in the short form. So you must write down output also in the short form. Okay, get it? Okay, let's proceed with uh, example 4. Okay, calculate and display the overtime pay received by an employee. Okay, overtime rate uh, given here, 5 ringgit Malaysia per hour. What does it mean? 
Okay, same goes here. Actually, you can go through structure. Okay, you can see here. On the left, how you calculate actually over time pay. Ah, uh, this one tell you five ringgit per hour. That mean unknown value. Actually, we don't know how many hour ah uh, he or she works that day or that month. Okay, hour and then multiply by five ringgit Malaysia. And then you can get over time pay. So that means our input here, our process calculate over time pay, and then output over time pay. Easy, right? Uh, make sure you write down formula in a uh, blank uh, paper uh, so that you know what is the input, what is output for uh, our uh, problem analysis in this problem. Okay, again, mistake made by student. You can see here the input. Return RM five. You cannot put a uh, 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 fixed number again. I said fixed number cannot. Nah, cannot put fixed number RM five. So, okay, and all five. Okay. Um, as usual, fixed value. Then output overtime rate cannot overtime pay cannot. Why? Because capital letter here. See, is not the same as in the process written here. You must be the same. Uh, how you uh, return the name of in the process and in the output. Okay, clear. Okay, for the next problems, number five scenario, find out and display Ahmad's age. So we already know how to calculate Ahmad Ahmad age by uh, current year minus with year birth. Okay, that means. Two unknown value here. We don't know what is the current year actually, and what is the year birth for that person. Okay, then we can get get age for that person. Okay, so again, it is a sequence control structure because we only calculate it by the formula, and then what is the input? So there are two input. Nah, okay, remember you must check your formula. Maybe sometimes have more than one value. Okay, how about process? Calculate H. Okay, calculate H. Then the output is H. Mistake made by the student again. Okay, what is the uh, output? Is a they put a Y only. So uh, student put uh, something that uh, they they want to put year, but the problem is Y is too short, and then. Uh, it's not relevant for the problems. Okay, don't put like that. Eh? Okay, and then uh, input they put age. Why they put age? Uh, the computer need to find age. Then you put input age. That means you the computer no need to calculate anymore because you put age. That's why age is wrong for the input. Okay, so problem six. Find out sum of three number and its average. So that means there are two calculation need uh computer need to process sum and average. Then this is how you calculate. And then the control structure as usual sequence control structure. For in actually in this video all the problem here actually actually see in sequence control structure. Okay. So what is the input number one, number two, number three? So uh, again you can see eh, I put number there. So actually, uh, when you want to put name of variable for the input or output, you have to start with the text. Text, then you start with number. You cannot start with number first, then you put text. Cannot. You have to start with text. Okay, don't start with number. Okay, then you put number one, number two, and number three. What is the process? Calculate sum and average. So that means in the process have two calculation. Okay, make sure you put two process there. By put comma here, okay comma. Don't put O or N, just put comma. Okay. How about output? So there are two output also. A computer need to display sum and average. So again, mistake make by the student. The student put three numbers. When they put three numbers, you have to put three variable actually because you want to enter three number right if you put three numbers then how about another two numbers okay make sure you put number one number two and number three 
and then some student put output as a sum sum only uh, sometimes have two output make sure you have to check back what is uh, the problem needs there are two actually yeah? okay some of the student also uh, written down uh, display sum okay output already written actually when you already put output no need to write down display you only put just uh, sum and comma average don't put display eh, in problem analysis because output already mean display okay so example seven display message hello world do you think this have uh, input here no actually eh? no input sometimes computer have no input why sometimes computer have no input uh, because there are no no process need to uh, done by the computer because only display the message example for that kiosk kiosk only display a message no need uh, input from the user uh, kiosk it display um, about flights and so on no need input from user okay so no input process only display the message only hello world so this is the correct answer so make sure no input eh? so mistake made by student the, uh, in the process a student write down display uh, message okay, no need actually uh, to write down display message because display to already is an output in the output don't write display anymore because output already means uh, display okay message hello world only Tapi, but it's also wrong because no double quote here when no double quote that means it is a variable okay you have to uh, uh, differentiate between message and variable actually there are two different uh, object there message and variable Okay, message you must put double quote here. So, computer know that there is a message, not any variable to end, uh, to store in data into that variable. This message not for storing message, only message. You have to display the message only. Okay, make sure you put double quote. Okay, double quote. Without double quote, you get a wrong answer. Again, again, without double quote, you get wrong answer to because uh, double quote means this is a message for the display okay evaluation okay the program will calculate the area and perimeter of a triangle the program will display the name entered by user the program will display volume of sphere calculate and display net price and 10 percent discount of book so that's all for today.